Pregnancy is a remarkable journey that begins long before the first signs or symptoms appear. At its core, the process of pregnancy starts with two fundamental events, fertilization and conception. To truly understand how pregnancy happens, it's important to delve into the intricate biological steps that transform a single cell into the beginnings of new life. Every month, a woman's body goes through a menstrual cycle, a finely tuned series of hormonal changes that prepare the body for a possible pregnancy. Approximately halfway through the this cycle, an event called ovulation occurs. During ovulation, one of the ovaries releases a mature egg, also known as an ovum. This egg is swept into the fallopian tube, a slender structure that connects the ovary to the uterus. For about 12 to 24 hours, the egg waits in the fallopian tube, ready for the chance encounter that could lead to fertilization. Meanwhile, if intercourse occurs around the time of ovulation, millions of sperm are released into the vagina. Sperm are tiny cells produced by the male reproductive system, and their sole purpose is to find and fertilize the egg. The journey they embark upon is both arduous and highly competitive. From the moment they enter the female body, sperm must swim through the cervix, travel up the uterus, and finally reach the fallopian tubes. Out of the millions that begin this journey, only a few hundred will make it to the egg, and only one will achieve the ultimate goal. When sperm and egg finally meet in the fallopian tube, a remarkable dance begins. The egg is surrounded by a protective layer, and the sperm must use enzymes to break through this barrier. After intense competition, a single sperm manages to penetrate the outer layer and fuse with the egg's membrane. This moment is known as fertilization. Once a sperm has successfully entered, the egg's membrane instantly changes to prevent any other sperm from getting in. At this instant, the genetic material from the mother and father combine, forming a new cell called a zygote. This zygote contains all the genetic information necessary to create a unique individual, half from the mother and half from the father. The zygote begins to divide rapidly through a process called mitosis, becoming a cluster of cells that continues its journey down the fallopian tube toward the uterus. Over the next few days, this cluster develops into a structure known as a blastocyst. While the blastocyst travels, the uterus undergoes its own preparations. Under the influence of hormones like progesterone, the uterine lining, called the endometrium, thickens and becomes rich with blood vessels. This environment is essential for nourishing and supporting the potential new life. Around five to six days after fertilization, the blastocyst arrives in the uterus. There, it searches for the perfect spot to attach itself to the uterine lining, a process called implantation. The outer layer of the blastocyst releases enzymes that help it burrow into the endometrium. Once securely embedded, the blastocyst begins to draw nutrients from the mother's blood supply. It is at this point that the pregnancy is officially established and the developing cluster of cells can start to grow into an embryo. Implantation is a delicate and critical stage. If the blastocyst does not implant properly, pregnancy will not progress. However, if implantation is successful, the body starts producing a hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG. This hormone is what pregnancy tests detect, and it signals to the body to maintain the thickened uterine lining, preventing menstruation, and supporting the growing embryo. The time frame from fertilization to implantation is only about a week, but these days are filled with countless microscopic events that have profound impacts. Genetic traits are set, the foundations for all major organs and systems are laid down, and the beginnings of the placenta, the lifeline between mother and baby, start to form. It's important to note that not all fertilizations lead to successful pregnancies. Sometimes the zygote may not develop properly or implantation fails to occur. In fact, many pregnancies end before a woman even realizes she is pregnant, often presenting as a slightly delayed or heavier than usual period. When conception does occur, the body undergoes a cascade of changes. The embryo begins to produce signals to prevent the mother's immune system from rejecting it. The placenta grows rapidly, and within a few weeks, a tiny heartbeat can be detected. Cells specialize and organize, forming the blueprint for every tissue, organ, and system the baby will need. For many, the journey to pregnancy can be complex, involving timing, health, and sometimes a bit of luck. 
Factors like age, overall health, and lifestyle can influence the chances of fertilization and implantation. While the process itself is natural and often goes unnoticed, the science behind it is a testament to the complexity and wonder of human life. To summarize, pregnancy begins with ovulation, the release of an egg from the ovary. If sperm are present in the fallopian tube, fertilization can occur, forming a zygote with a unique genetic code. This zygote travels toward the uterus, dividing and developing into a blastocyst. Upon reaching the uterus, the blastocyst implants into the uterine lining, officially starting the pregnancy. From this point, the embryo grows, the placenta develops, and the body adapts to support the new life within. Understanding how pregnancy happens helps highlight not only the marvels of biology, but also the delicate balance required for new life to begin. It's a process shaped by millions of years of evolution, fine-tuned to give each new generation the best possible start. Whether you're hoping to conceive, learning about reproductive health, or simply curious about where life begins, the story of fertilization and conception is one of nature's most incredible tales.